When you think of the world's largest aircraft carriers like the USS Gerald R. Ford and the Nimitz class, you don't immediately picture these 400 meter long behemoths drifting on the water. Yet, they are truly capable of executing extreme maneuvers at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. How on earth do aircraft carriers make such sharp turns? The USS Gerald R. Ford spearheads naval innovation, eclipsing its predecessors with advanced technologies like the groundbreaking EMOLS for seamless aircraft launch and AAG for efficient recovery. Its compact automation and island structure boost efficiency and visibility, vital for the swift operations defining today's naval battles. More than a carrier, the Ford is a testament to the American maritime dominance, merging cutting-edge technology with strategic prowess to navigate global challenges and shape the future of naval warfare. Now you must be wondering, why would such a supreme and powerful aircraft carrier need to make high-speed turns? Is it really a thing? Well, the answer is yes. High-speed turns, a maneuver executed by various vehicles and vessels, actually serve multifaceted purposes, ranging from tactical evasion to navigating hazardous weather conditions. In the context of naval operations, the USS Gerald R. Ford and its counterparts often employ high-speed turns as a dynamic and strategic element of their repertoire. Understanding the motives behind executing such maneuvers involves delving into both the military and practical aspects, exploring how these turns contribute to the safety, agility, and overall effectiveness of naval operations. Avoiding adversaries is a primary motive for executing high-speed turns in naval scenarios. The ability to swiftly change direction at high speeds can be a crucial element in evading potential threats, particularly in a contested or hostile environment. Naval vessels, including aircraft carriers like the USS Gerald R. Ford, are strategic assets that may attract the attention of adversaries seeking to disrupt or neutralize their capabilities. Put it this way, by executing high-speed turns, these vessels can introduce an element of unpredictability, making it challenging for adversaries to accurately anticipate and target them. In a tactical context, the maneuverability provided by high-speed turns enhances a vessel's defensive capabilities. Evading incoming threats such as anti-ship missiles or torpedoes becomes more achievable when the vessel can rapidly change its course. Another point worth mentioning is that the dynamic nature of high-speed turns makes it difficult for targeting systems to maintain accurate predictions, potentially thwarting hostile attempts to engage the vessel. Dodging hazardous weather represents another crucial aspect of high-speed turns, especially for naval vessels traversing the open seas. Adverse weather conditions, including storms, high waves, or turbulent seas, pose inherent risks to maritime operations. In such scenarios, executing high-speed turns allows vessels to navigate through or around hazardous weather more effectively. The enhanced agility provided by these maneuvers enables the crew to adjust the vessel's heading and ride the waves, reducing the impact of rough seas on the ship's stability. Furthermore, high-speed turns play a vital role in maintaining the overall safety of the vessel and its crew. Sudden weather changes like rapidly approaching storms demand quick and decisive action. The ability to execute high-speed turns allows naval vessels to promptly alter their course, avoiding the brunt of severe weather and mitigating potential damage. From a practical perspective, the USS Gerald R. Ford, with its advanced propulsion and navigation systems, is well-equipped to execute high-speed turns with precision. The carrier's powerful propulsion, coupled with advanced control systems, enables it to respond rapidly to changing situations. This capability is not only critical for tactical evasion, but also for routine navigation, ensuring the carrier can navigate efficiently through busy waterways or adjust its course as needed during operational deployments. Moreover, the psychological impact of high-speed turns should not be underestimated. The visual spectacle of a massive naval vessel executing dynamic maneuvers can serve as a deterrent, conveying a message of strength, agility, and readiness. This can have strategic implications by influencing the perceptions of potential adversaries and reinforcing the carrier's role as a formidable force on the seas. Whether evading adversaries in a dynamic and contested environment 
or navigating hazardous weather conditions, the ability to change direction rapidly enhances a vessel's overall safety, agility, and effectiveness in fulfilling its strategic objectives. High-speed turns are not just a display of technical prowess. They're a critical component of naval strategy, ensuring that these formidable vessels can navigate through a range of challenges with precision and resilience. So how is this all done on such a huge vessel? Well, initiating a high-speed turn aboard an aircraft carrier, exemplified by the USS Gerald R. Ford, involves a meticulous sequence of actions seamlessly orchestrated by the ship's crew. The captain's pivotal role unfolds as they issue a decisive order, transmitted through the carrier's intricate communication system. This command triggers a swift response in the engineering spaces, where signals are dispatched to engineers responsible for managing the carrier's formidable power source, its nuclear reactors. In response, these engineers deftly adjust the control systems, orchestrating an increase in the vessel's power output. Concurrently, deep within the carrier's hull, technicians in the engine room closely monitor an array of gauges. Their watchful eyes track critical parameters such as temperature and pressure as turbines spin rapidly, ensuring the carrier operates within optimal ranges during the high-speed turn. Bear in mind that the mechanics of the high-speed turn extend to the carrier's propulsion system, where the propeller shafts play a pivotal role in translating increased power into dynamic motion. As the USS Gerald R. Ford executes the high-speed turn, it becomes a testament to the collaborative efforts of its crew, navigating the seas with a harmonious fusion of power, precision, and technological prowess. This is a good time for an interesting question for all of you watching. Do you think aircraft carriers will soon be able to keep up with smaller boats? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Okay, so now it's time to discuss a very interesting test conducted on U.S. Navy vessels. Ever heard of the extreme rudder test? Sounds interesting, right? The thing is, the extreme rudder test stands as a critical evaluation of the life of a naval vessel, subjecting it to rigorous examination to ensure the utmost reliability and maneuverability of its rudder system. This test is a meticulous and controlled procedure designed to push the vessel's rudder to its operational limits, verifying its performance under extreme conditions. Conducted for various strategic and safety reasons, the extreme rudder test provides invaluable insights into a ship's handling capabilities, responsiveness, and overall seaworthiness. At its core, the extreme rudder test involves systematically turning the vessel's rudder to its maximum angle, pushing the boundaries of its maneuverability. This examination aims to assess the rudder's efficiency in directing the ship, especially during emergencies or in challenging maritime environments. Understanding the reasons behind the conduct of this test necessitates exploring its multifaceted significance. One primary objective of the extreme rudder test is to ensure that the vessel can navigate safely and effectively in high-stress scenarios. In emergencies, such as evasive maneuvers or sudden course changes to avoid potential threats, the rudder becomes a pivotal component in steering the ship. Conducting the extreme rudder test allows naval engineers and operators to validate the responsiveness and reliability of the rudder system, ensuring it can swiftly and accurately execute course adjustments even under extreme circumstances. Moreover, the test contributes to the ongoing assessment of a ship's overall seaworthiness. Sea conditions can vary significantly from calm waters to turbulent seas, and the vessel must be equipped to handle these diverse environments. By subjecting the rudder to extreme angles, the test simulates challenging conditions, offering a glimpse into how well the ship can navigate and maintain stability in adverse situations. This evaluation is crucial for naval vessels, ensuring that they can operate effectively across a spectrum of potential scenarios they may encounter during deployments. The extreme rudder test also plays a vital role in the evaluation of a ship's design and engineering. Modern naval vessels, including aircraft carriers like the USS Gerald R. Ford, are feats of engineering marvels, incorporating advanced technologies and intricate systems. Assessing the rudder's performance under extreme conditions provides valuable data on the vessel's design integrity and the effectiveness of its propulsion and steering systems. 
Engineers can use the insights gained from these tests to refine and enhance future designs, continually pushing the boundaries of naval technology. But we must understand that the extreme rudder test is not a one-size-fits-all examination. Its specifics can vary based on the type and class of the vessel. For aircraft carriers like the USS Gerald R. Ford, the scale and complexity of the test are heightened due to the sheer size and importance of these vessels in naval operations. In one scenario, the test might involve executing a high-speed turn, combining extreme rudder angles with increased propulsion to gauge the ship's ability to rapidly change course. Another variant of the test may focus on assessing the rudder's performance in adverse weather conditions. Simulating rough seas and turbulent waters, the ship's rudder is put to the test to ensure it can maintain control and stability even when faced with challenging environmental factors. This aspect is particularly relevant for carriers that may operate in diverse maritime conditions, ranging from the calm waters of peacetime to the unpredictable nature of high seas operations. Crew Training and Safety Measures Crew training and safety measures are fundamental pillars within the operational fabric of the USS Gerald R. Ford, one of the most advanced carriers in naval service, as we know. A crew undergoes a series of meticulously designed drills aimed at honing their skills and responding effectively during rapid turns, simulating scenarios that mirror the intense conditions of high-stress maneuvers. These drills, spanning various compartments from the flight deck to the engine rooms, instill a culture of preparedness and adaptability vital for the carrier's operational success. On the flight deck, where precision is paramount in aircraft launch and recovery operations, Crew members practice handling the challenges posed by dynamic maneuvers. These exercises not only refine their skills, but also foster a collective understanding of the coordinated effort required to maintain operational efficiency in the face of rapid turns. In the engine rooms, the beating heart of the carrier's propulsion systems, the crew members engage in drills that simulate the increased demands on machinery during high-speed maneuvers. These exercises emphasize teamwork and efficiency, ensuring that the intricate systems below the deck can seamlessly respond to the demands imposed by rapid turns. Technicians monitor gauges, make real-time adjustments, and collaborate with other crew members to guarantee the carrier's propulsion remains reliable and robust. Moreover, beyond the human element, the USS Gerald R. Ford is equipped with advanced controls strategically designed to prevent overstresses on the ship's structure and safeguard against blackout conditions. These controls, intricately integrated from the bridge to the engine rooms, employs cutting-edge technology to monitor stress levels and regulate acceleration. By doing so, they ensure that the forces acting on the carrier and its crew remain within the safe limits during dynamic maneuvers. The bridge, serving as the nerve center of the ship, houses controls that allow the captain and navigation team to execute turns with precision. Sophisticated navigation systems, fueled by data from various sensors, calculate optimal parameters for a given turn. This integration of technology not only enhances the carrier's navigational capabilities, but also contributes to the safety of the crew by preventing excessive stresses on the vessel. It goes without saying that the crew's ability to navigate high-stress scenarios with precision is not merely a result of individual proficiency, but an outcome of collective training that emphasizes adaptability and efficiency. As we speak, the technological controls on the carrier serve as a proactive safeguard, reflecting a commitment to the safety and well-being of both crew and the vessel. As the USS Gerald R. Ford continues to push the boundaries of naval capabilities, this blend, as you can call it, of human expertise and technological innovation remains integral to its operational ethos. It ensures that the carrier can navigate the seas not only with cutting-edge technology, but also with highly skilled and safety-conscious crew, solidifying its position as a flagship in modern naval operations. Now here's a question for you. What innovative technologies do you believe will shape the future of tactical capabilities of these gigantic military vessels considering the evolving landscape of global security and technological advancements. Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, we kindly ask you to show your support by giving it a like 
and subscribing to our channel. Your support means a lot to us and motivates us to continue creating entertaining and educational content on the US Navy and other maritime topics. Don't forget to click the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. We look forward to bringing you more exciting content in the future. I'll see you in the next one.